the defilement key exchange algorithm. Now, why is this algorithm used? Suppose Michael and Stuart they want to exchange some key across a medium, but this medium uh, is eavesdropped by a spy. That is, he can uh, he is able to access to uh, access all the information that is being sent over this medium. So, in spite of this problem, Michael and Stuart can still uh, transfer their keys without uh, without without the spy getting the key. Okay, now let's go to the algorithm. Now, uh, uh, Michael and Stuart will select a sufficiently large prime number Q. Then, in select an integer a alpha, these al these numbers alpha and Q. Uh, they are made public. Alpha should be a primitive root of Q. That means it should satisfy the following. The values of alpha mod Q, alpha square mod Q, alpha Q mod Q up to alpha raised to Q minus 1 mod Q should all be distinct. That is they should have different values. For example, 3 is a primitive root of 7. You can check by calculating 3 mod 7, 3 square mod 7, 3 cube mod 7, up to 3 raised to 6 mod 7, all the values will be different. The reason that alpha should be a primitive root of q will be discussed later. Uh, now we'll go on to the actual key exchange, that is the actual algorithm that is involved in Diffie Hellman key exchange. Now alpha and q are selected. Uh, the two numbers are made public. Now Michael he selects a random number m and he keeps it with himself. This is Michael's private key. Now he calculates a number y using alpha and q and obviously m. So that formula which is used is as shown. Now Stuart he selects his private key that is a random number c and he keeps it with himself then he calculates z by using this formula uh, and he uses alpha q and his private key c now now michael and stuart now michael sends his calculated value of y and stuart sends his calculated value of z to michael but now the spy has access over the medium so he can easily get y and z that's not an issue we'll find it out later now the key now michael has got stewards z so he calculates his key k1 by using the formula which will be shown right now but he uses his previously selected secret key m this is a formula so he has z m and q so he finds out K1. Similarly, Stuart uses Y, which was sent by Michael, to calculate his key K2 by the following way using his secret key C. So he gets K2 that is equal to Y raised to C mod Q. Now it is observed that K1 is equal to K2, thus, both of them get the key even after. Now, why couldn't a spy find the key in spite of having y and z? Because alpha was primitive root of q. That means y is equal to a raised alpha raised to m mod q becomes a discrete log problem. Now, what is a discrete log problem? Discrete log in a discrete log problem like the above ones if you know y if you know alpha and if you know q then it is close to impossible to find m i mean you can find by using brute force attack but the values of alpha and q will be large so uh, q will be large so it will be difficult to find out m hence mm, alpha should be a primitive root of q as I told earlier that I'll tell it later. So that's why alpha should be a primitive root of Q. And hence the secret key is a protected. Now 
and then transfer of keys is possible now we'll take a look at an example uh, the uh, alpha and q are selected for example 3 and th q equal to 353 these are made <coughs> these are made public now michael selects his own private key m say 97 then he calculates using this formula uh, after calculations we'll find out y is equal to 40 he makes that public <coughs> then Stuart selects his own private key that is for example say 233 then he finds out z then z comes out to be 248 now they both exchange these keys like Michael gives 40 to Stuart and Stuart gives 248 to Michael now they both calculate the key Michael he fi finds using this formula uses his private key and z equal to 248 which was given by Stuart and Stuart uses this formula and uses y equal to 40 which was given by Michael and after calculations you'll find out that k1 is equal to k2 is equal to 160 so this was the Diffie Hellman key exchange for secure transmission of keys thank you and like and subscribe